Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your love snapshot for July 2017. Thank you for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers. The love snapshots are short three-card uh, general readings uh, aimed at love and romance for those of you coupled and those of you single and dating or single and looking to get back into the dating scene. So if you're not looking for a love and romance uh, related uh, reading, just stick with the beginning of the month and the middle of the month generals. So this is for couples and uh, those who are single and looking or getting ready to look. They are general readings, of course, just like the other general readings, so uh, make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos. You may find that one of them may play out a little more predictively for you regarding love and romance for July 2017, and just give you additional insight and clarification into what's going on in your life, uh, in that area of your life for the month of July 2017, because there's many of you watching, So, uh, and this reading is for Aries, so of course it's not going to mean the same thing to the same degree for every Aries watching, and it really depends depends on, you know, what's going on in your life, your own natal chart, etc. So try to watch your rising and your moon sign if you can for a more clear and cohesive picture. Thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, your support, your feedback, and your comments. Thank you to my regular clients for your consistent updates and in how our readings play out in your lives. And just a general thank you for those of you who continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one readings and keep me so busy doing those. As I always say, and I always mean it, it's an honor and a pleasure to read for you. And if any of you are interested in a uh, personal reading with me, you haven't read with me before, you can click on the about or description button on my channel's homepage for more information and my email address, which is Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I do a wide variety of readings and I do readings full time six days a week. So turnaround time is pretty quick. It's anywhere from a couple of days upwards of two weeks, but almost always we can set up a reading for you within a two week period of time. So email me if you're interested. So moving right along, this reading is for the fire sign of Aries. Aries the Ram, our restless babies of the zodiac. Aries, fire sign of Aries for love and romance for July 2017. Aries, love snapshot for July 2017. Three cards for Aries. Show me what is potentially going on for our Aries in love and romance for July 2017. Okay, Aries, we begin with the Two of Swords, followed by the Empress, and the Two of Cups, the Soulmate card. All right, let me just take a look, Aries. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords here. Swords is air energy, mental, cerebral, intellectual energy. Uh, in the tarot, the suit of swords is all about basically what goes on up in our up in our heads, our words and our ideas, our perceptions, our belief systems, and how that affects our communication and how we communicate with other people. Swords can also represent truth, clarity, illumination, reality, uh, and sometimes higher education and learning as well. So the two of swords is a card about feeling stuck, being at a crossroads, needing to make a choice, needing to make a decision, needing to choose a path, but uh, feeling stuck or not quite knowing which direction to go in or what choice to make. The blindfold also kind of signifies that as well. And it can also represent that there is something in front of you which needs to be dealt with, but for some reason there's a, you're, there's a sense of reluctance or resistance in dealing with it. Next to that, we have the Empress, which is a card of uh, new beginnings, fertility. The Empress is the traditional Earth Mother of the Tarot. I think we pulled this for one of the other cards too. It can sometimes represent a mother or a mother figure. Uh, so for some of you that may be figuring in your love life in the month of July 2017 in a positive or a negative or challenging way as well. Sometimes our parents can voice their disapproval uh, of our choice of, of mates or, or hard dating life uh, in rather strong ways. So that 
that that may be the case for some of you. Uh, the Empress is about fertility too, and sometimes this can mean literal fertility. So some of you might be uh, conceiving, getting pregnant, finding out that you're pregnant, or giving birth in the month of July 2017. Uh, the Empress represents that the time is right to actually start something new. It's 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 about time to plant the seeds. It's not a card of completion. Uh, seeds need need to be planted at the right time and the right kind of soil, then nurtured and taken care of so that they can grow to their full potential, their full manifestation of what they're meant to be. So the Empress the Empress the, can be an indication of it, the time being right to actually begin something new. It can also, it's a card that can also represent uh, spending more time in nature and self-nurturing as well. And then we have the Two of Cups. I'm going to put it all together again after the Two of Cups. So Cups is water energy. In the tarot, the suit of Cups is about that watery mercurial world of our feelings, emotions, feelings, uh, and how that leads us to relate to other people. Emotions, feelings, and relationships, all different kinds of relationships. The Two of Cups is traditionally considered uh, called the soulmate card, the kindred spirit card. It can also represent best friends, which turns into uh, something more romantic as well that may be happening for some of you in the month of July 2017. This is more than just a physical or chemical attraction. This is a meeting of the mind, the heart, the soul, the spirit. This is somebody that uh, you feel is your soulmate, that you're very connected with, or somebody um, fairly shortly after you meet them, if not right away, you feel like you've known them for a long time because you connect so very well in a lot of different ways. So, so for those of you who are okay, I'm getting something for for those of you who are. I'm getting a variety of things: couples and singles. It looks like in the month of July, there's something that needs to be dealt with. There's a choice. There's a sense of feeling stuck because you. It feels like you need to make a choice between one thing and the other or the other. It could be between two different people as well. I'm not getting a very strong triangular energy, but for some of you, it could be, you know, choosing between one person or another. Maybe perhaps leaving one person for another with that new beginning. There's a sense uh, for some of you of... I think this is for those of you who are dating somebody and the relationship is relatively new, but you feel very connected to them. Some of you, you're kind of maybe feeling like, is this person the one? Uh, is this my soulmate, my kindred spirit? Should I move further? Should I continue to invest? Should I commit to them? Some of you may be getting offers from somebody that you're dating, or you may be having conversations about, okay, we're doing pretty well. Where, where is this going? Is it, should we, you know, maybe uh, talking about being exclusive or, you know, having a committed relationship with each other. I'm getting some mess, some specific messages for couples too. Uh, for some of you that are coupled, together as a couple, I'm getting for some of you, you want to have a conversation with your partner about, there's something to do with finances. I feel like, uh, for some of you who are coupled and like you're sharing your life together, like you're married or you're living together, it feels like there's an issue about the other person not pulling their weight financially, or maybe they're feeling like you're not pulling your weight financially. There's some issue about finances here. Um, the feeling stuck, the stuck feeling is about, I, I feel like for... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the challenge is in getting the messages and actually transferring them into a cohesive message. I'm getting the feeling that that some of you who are coupled, you want to have a conversation, but you're afraid to have the conversation with your mate about finances. I'm curious, let me pull one more card. The Six of Pentacles, even give and take particularly in uh, finances and material. Yeah, for those of you who are coupled and like sharing a home, sharing a life together, there's some issues about finances I feel like that need to be taken care of. But I feel like the stuck blocked feeling is that a conversation needs to occur. And for some reason, you're afraid to have this conversation uh, with, with your partner. But of course, they are showing up as your soulmate, kindred spirit. Some of you are questioning are in a relationship with somebody and questioning whether or not they are your soulmate, kindred spirit, and whether or not you should move forward uh, with them 
into the next level of commitment. For some of you, I'm getting that as a couple together, you're making a major decision to, again, I'm getting moving, relocating energy. It's like the fourth sign this month in the love snapshots and perhaps even the generals too that I'm getting energy for whether or not to move or relocate. Give me just a minute, Aries. Some of you who are coupled, I'm getting that for some reason the issue of fertility and children has come up uh, for you this month. It could be that I feel like some of you are trying to get pregnant. You're trying to uh, uh, bring a, a, a child, another life into your family or, or, add if, or add to that if you have other children. I feel like maybe there's been some issues around fertility. You've been trying to get pregnant and having a hard time getting pregnant. And that's kind of a central focus uh, for you with your partner. And again, for those of you who are single, there could be, and dating, uh, there could be, I mean, you may be finding out that you're pregnant this month as well and stuck what to do about it. And the, the person that you're involved with or have been dating, um, Again, I'm getting this feeling about being afraid to have a conversation with them. Maybe maybe some of you are pregnant and you're afraid to tell your partner about it for the month of July 2017. The, the nice positive energy, though, for singles and couples, for those of you who are dating somebody and are wondering and are feeling like that very, very strong connection, and those of you who are coupled in a relationship with someone, for the majority of you, not all of you, but for more than half of you, I feel like you are in a relationship with your soulmate, your kindred spirit. There is a sense of needing to uh, to make a decision about something that I feel is quite significant uh, in your relationship. For those of you who are dating, it may be whether to continue dating somebody or not that you're that you're attracted to, or wondering is this person the one. Um, some of you on both sides, I'm getting this fear of having a conversation too. Some of you, it's having a conversation about money for those of you who are coupled. Others of you, it's having a conversation about fertility, about having a child or not having children as well. Uh, some of you may uh, not be wanting to have children and your partner does and there's this sense of, you know, uh, being very reticent to, to have a real open conversation about it. Some of you, I'm feeling a sense of frustration for those of you who are dating and, and uh, single and dating and looking. I feel kind of a sense of frustration in when am I going to find the one. Um, so I'm getting kind of a sense of frustration about that. Some of you that are dating, I feel like you may be doing something a little different. Maybe in the month of July 2017, you may be doing something a little different. Maybe you're, you, uh, you know, if, if there are certain venues in which you go to meet people or meet prospective partners that may be changing, you may decide to, um, you know, uh, some of you may be deciding to, to go on the internet, maybe go on some of the dating websites and open up a profile there. You're starting to, to do some different things in order to broaden your chances of meeting your soulmate kindred spirit. There looks to be a focus on the soulmate kindred spirit energy, also on new beginnings, but a sense of feeling stuck for some of you as well. Some of you may be dating somebody. I feel some of you are also dating somebody or maybe even already in a committed relationship with somebody. And this may not be the healthiest relationship for you, but you, but for some reason you're there's some red there may be some red flags coming up for some of you, but because of how you feel about them, there's a sense of not really wanting to look at it head on because the two of swords can signify that as well because you feel like they're the one you feel like they're your soulmate. Uh, again, for others of you, this is a second sign for love snapshots this maternal energy, there is a mother or mother figure in the picture. It could be your mother, their mother, a mother-in-law um, is kind of perhaps maybe 
interfering a bit and maybe poking their nose in a little bit too much in the month of July or just generally uh, being rather disapproving of your choice of mate or or their choice of, of being with you as well. I don't feel like this is, a, I know maybe it's it's kind of coming out as a bit negative or challenging Aries. I don't feel like it's a, a bad reading, so to speak. It looks like there's something that, that needs to be dealt with. Um, I think that maybe there's some red flags within a relationship and those of you who are experiencing that will know that. Um, and I feel like July is a month that they really need to be dealt with. Any conversations you've been uh, procrastinating on having, July would be the month to have them, particularly about finances and anything to do with, with fertility, with pregnancy, with having children uh, as well. There's lovely overall energy with that Empress and the Two of Cups. It's just that Two of Swords represent kind of feeling stuck and needing to make a decision or needing to deal with something which perhaps you're reluctant to deal with uh, because you feel like the person you're with is uh, your soulmate and you, you may be afraid of having conver this conversation with him because you may be afraid that they'll leave. Uh, but if they are truly your soulmate, that person that you're, you're meant to be with, um, being a soulmate is more than just again more than just chemical and physical attraction uh, there's there's a there's a, a understanding and trust that should be present there as well so um, again any important conversations you should probably have them within the month of July it looks like a good time to do that July looks like a good time to deal with any kind of relationship problems difficulties or decisions both coupled and single some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate kindred spirit in the month of July 2017. Some of you, it may be even through your mother or a mother figure, uh, could be your mother, somebody else's mother that maybe introduces you to them. Uh, those of you who are single and dating, it looks like you may be meeting your soulmate through a mother figure of some kind. Uh, so that's kind of interesting as well. I feel like that two of swords energy is a little stronger with the couples than it is with the singles uh, too. Okay, Aries, that's pretty much everything I can get out of this little love snapshot for July 2017. I hope it's brought some insight, uh, clarity, uh, given you some food for thought, or at least hasn't been too confusing. Thank you for watching it. I will see you all again in about a week for the uh, mid-month generals. Again, if any of you are interested in a personal tailored for you one-on-one uh, -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you can click on the About or Description button on my channel's homepage for my email address and more information. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. Until I see you again, Aries, which I hope is soon, as always, I wish you joy, peace, love, and a happy life. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.